Hey guys, a bit squid here and welcome to another Unity Playmaker tutorial. In today's tutorial, this is all about entering buildings and the walls. Um, so basically, what we want to happen is, if you see here, I've got two examples here. So I've got this house here, which is very like a literal top-down, you know, image or thing. I just made it literally out of uh, sprites from Unity, uh, so it's very crude, so forgive the crudeness, but for the purposes of the tutorial. And then I've got the other house over here, as you see, and if I actually turn off the roof, you can see there's actual something inside, and same for here. If I deactivate this roof, you'll see we have an inside building. So what we want to happen is, if we hit play now, you'll see we can go in, but we can't see what the player's doing. And obviously you don't want to go into a room in a building and not see what's happening because uh, you could be attacked. Okay? And if we head over to the other side over here, let me just move on here. See what's here? I've got a camera set up for it. We go in. And yeah, so we get. Uh, in the building, and we can't move around. Or we can't see where we're moving. And obviously, maybe hitting objects or something. All right? So this is really simple to set up. Oh, don't know why I hit play. <clears throat> so let's start with the building over here. And I didn't hit play. Go away. Right. <clears throat> right, so also you need your play to be tagged as a player here. Or whatever you have it tagged, you're going to need to use that. Okay, so we're going to go to our house one here and I'm going to for now is deactivate the roof and I'm going to create an empty game object called entrance okay and I'm just gonna give that an icon say that there and also a box collider 2d set to a trigger Right, and I want that to be in the middle here. And we're going to edit that collider so it matches with around there. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to move that up a little bit to be about here and this will be our entrance and we're going to uh, actually do that in a moment we're going to actually copy this and put one out here to act as our exit okay so let's just set this up so we're going to add two fsms okay and we're going to call the first one player enters and we'll say then turn off roof. And we just need a finished event here and link to here. Okay, and then we're going to do a trigger 2D event and choose Clyde Tag Player and then finished. And then here we want to. Uh, activate game object and we're going to want three activate game objects all right so we're going to want two to be deactivate and one activate and all of them are going to be specified game object all right so first of all we want to deactivate the roof then we want to deactivate entrance 
and then we're going to activate the exit. Now we don't have exit yet, so we're going to get our entrance here, control D to duplicate it and just call it exit. And we're going to pop it down to say around here. So that there, and we can actually for now just deactivate that because we don't need it. And it's going to be the opposite here. We're going to activate roof, activate uh, entrance, and then here we will deactivate our exit. And then on entrance, we just need to put exit here. Okay, and then I'm going to parent those two to our house here. So they're now child of the house. We will activate our roof. And hopefully this will work. So let's go in the house and hopefully when we go inside, um, we will see what's happening in there. So we're going to go here, we'll go in, and our roof turns off. we we'll go here. And that now obviously it's flickering a bit there. So you're gonna want to work out like maybe I should move the exit a little bit more out, say to here. Because we don't want our player. There we go, you see, we go there. And you can see now we go in and we can now see in our house. Perfect. Now, that's that one done. But for here, it's a bit different. So maybe you want to see, maybe you want the roof or the whole wall here to disappear when you go inside, as well as the roof. So, what we can do is the same again. We are going to <coughs> add an empty game object called entrance give it a tag and we want it to be in the building say here and again a box collider 2d which is a trigger and we're going to edit that so you don't want it to be like huge let's put it around the actual thing there and then Pop that there to there and there to there. In fact, this one actually is probably going to want to be a bit longer. You want to want to know where your collider is for the building here. So mine is just about there. So let's put that about there. And that should work. Okay, and the same again. We're going to add two FSMs. This one will be player enters. And then turn off roof and wall. <clears throat> so again, a trigger event with player goes to finished and then here obviously we're going to want uh, an extra few FSMs so for my wall here this is it's not like I've not drawn it I've made it out of four different uh, shapes I've got them here parented to entrance wall and then I've got there like square one square three square two and this one is entrance wall Uh, yeah, so that's one, two, yeah. So I've got them parented to there. So if I just deactivate this one, you see here, they will turn off. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go to our entrance, activate game objects. This time I want four. 
Okay, and then we can just duplicate that one and call it exit. And this time we want it about, say there, and that should be okay there. So with entrance, we're going to deactivate our roof. And as because of mine to make it kind of try and look a bit 3D, um, or more t less completely top down, um, an angle view, I've got the two elements there, one and two. And again, they're parented. So I'm going to put my roof here, deactivate roof. Then we're going to deactivate the entrance wall. Again, if you do this yourself, make the wall yourself, uh, you can use a polygon collider and it will map out everything, including the gap here. And then we're going to also deactivate our entrance and activate our exit. Okay, and then here we're going to do exactly the same but the opposite. So we're going to activate our roof, activate our entrance wall, activate entrance, and then also deactivate our exit. Now, because we're going to make this whole wall disappear, its collider will also disappear. So we're going to want to add uh, another collider, or two colliders, depending on... You probably want to add two because of your entrance gap there. So I'm going to add an empty object. Let's call it, say, invisi wall. Invis wall. And box collider 2D. Pop it down to there. And we'll edit that collider. So we can make it about the same. And then we'll drag it across to, I think it goes to here. No, almost to the edge, okay. There, and then we want one more over here. So we'll control and D that. And then we can just literally, I'll be a wee bit lazy with this one and say pop it to here. And let's make sure it's not touching my sidewalk because we don't want it to be pushed away. <clears throat> but yeah, okay. All right, so let's have a look if that works. Pop them over there, we'll get the camera over there as well. Okay, so let's see if it's working. Okay, so let's go up. Actually, I forgot we need to deactivate our exit here. And then also make sure we parent the, uh, make these childs of the house too. Hit play. And now this should all work. So we're going to go up. We're going into the house. So now we can see we can obviously go out. Go to our entrance here, and the walls come on. Now it could be helpful here to even just with the uh, the invisible walls. I could have put like say a sprite renderer and put that as say a square. 
So we'll use an uh, input field here, which is tiny here. Okay, uh, we will then say reset the collider, scale that. Or even let's just do a new empty game object there to make it a square. Okay, and we can. Uh, doesn't matter about how it's positioned on here, but we're going to want it to be the same length. About there, and then let's make it the same kind of grey as. Well, I can actually just make it black, but we can then lower the alpha to make it look invisible or see-through. Okay, and then with box collider 2D, pop it up, control and D, move that to say here, scale it down. Get rid of the invisible here, and then just edit it in entrance and exit. <clears throat> well, actually, we wouldn't need to do that. So let's see how that looks now. We'll hit play, and then hopefully that will actually help us see when we're inside the building where we go in and go out. So we're going to go up, go in, let's go. So yeah, and there we go. And we'll go out. So obviously it's up to you, just obviously mess around with it and have it how you like it and how it looks. Obviously yours will look better than this because yours will be actually designed properly and drawn or using some sort of asset to do it rather than just using sprites like this. But yeah, that is it. That is how to enter a building and see inside the building making the roof disappear and reappear. If you like this video, please hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more tutorials by me. Any requests for videos, uh, please leave them in the comment section down below or in the description and I'll pin a top comment. There'll be a link to my Discord and you can also get help uh, and uh, make requests in my Discord server. And until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.